The start of the girls' water polo postseason is upon us with the Nequa Valley sectional quarterfinal round. Wabonzi Valley is the number four seed and takes on the fifth seeded Porters of Lockport. Wabonzi Valley leading in the second period, but the Porters cut into that lead as Madison Lynch tracks down the ball and tosses it into the net for the goal. Lockport trails 5-3 after goals from Grace Kelleher and Gabby Lang got the team on the board. Lockport looks to get back within a single goal as Allison Kwiatkowski lobs one towards the net, but Emma Buchenauer makes a nice one-handed stop for the Warriors. Later in the half, Ruby Meyer with the ball for Wabonzi. A Porter defender is called for an ejection and heads off. That leads Kaylin Ball wide open in front of the goal, and she adds her second tally to put the Warriors in front 6-3. Lockport is back on the attack as a long pass finds Emily Hughes behind the defense. She knocks one home and the Porters trail by two again, 6-4. Less than 10 seconds to go in the half, Ruby Meyer gets the pass, and the Lockport goalie is called for an ejection, leaving the net uncovered. The pass then goes to Brianna McCarron, who scores with five seconds left to make it 7-4 Wolfonsi. But it appears the Warriors left too much time on the clock. Faith Hagman launches a long-distance shot that perfectly finds the top shelf for the goal. Lockport now trails 7-5 heading into halftime. Wobonzi gets a penalty shot goal from Ruby Meyer early in the third, but Lockport answers once again. Ava Sipic gets one past the defense, and it's an 8-6 game late in the third. Under two minutes left in the period, Ruby Meyer tosses a pass to Reese Clavey. Her shot is deflected, but it bounces into the net for the goal to put Wabonzi back up by three. The Warriors lead 9-7, heading to the fourth after a Lockport goal from Sofia Reyes. Lockport looking to make it a single-score game, but the Warrior defense rises up. Sarah Taylor helps deflect the shot, along with Buchenauer. Later in the fourth, Kaylin Ball takes a shot on net. It's blocked by Anna Fiora de Rosa, but Ruby Meyer is there for the rebound to put Wabonzi Valley up 11-7. Ruby Meyer makes plays all game long. She puts this contest away with her sixth goal of the day. Wabonzi Valley girls water polo takes down Lockport 12-7 and advances to the sectional semifinals to face the top seed, Naperville North. One thing that we've been working on with this team is to keep level-headed throughout the entire game, no matter you know what the circumstance is, no matter what the score is. You know, keep the positive energy, a positive mindset, and win the game. Honestly, <laughs> just like put in the work, and it will be fine. And that's honestly what we kind of said going into the fourth quarter: get the job done. And uh, that's what we did. And I'm very proud of the girls. So. so at the end of third quarter, our whole team like had a, uh, like a pep talk to help us all like get our energy up, and I think that's like actually what helped us the most to be able to perform so well in the fourth quarter. Um, me personally, I just had to keep my head high and like just finish the game off. Hopefully, we'd win. And luckily, we did. So yeah. Naperville North is a very very good team, as we all know. Um, but you know, this team is a bunch of girls. A lot of my girls have never played water polo before and when you look at a game like that where they're able to perform as well as they do first off I am so proud of them for that and then second off that just goes to show the amount of potential that this team has honestly anything could happen and I'm very excited to see how we end up so.